Hey, how you doing today? It's uh, Ron with Platform Arrow. Got a kind of a cool scenario. We had to uh, recently modify one of our standard AQ 53 inch racks for a Hilo customer we recently got. Ron is gonna give you guys a tour of the facility to show you the various different steps and processes used to fabricate this product and a lot of the other products here at Platform Arrow. Once we uh, get our approved drawings from Brian and the engineering team, we go through and review our drawings. Uh, there's various parts and pieces in here. Then we'll go over to our supply area where we keep all of our aircraft certified uh, aluminum and other various types of alloys. Pick out each individual part. This is uh, some of the tubing that we use for our 53 inch racks. And everything you see right here is all aircraft certified for alloy. It all has uh, proof of where it came from, proof of who sold it to us, proof of how much load it can take before it breaks. So everything you get from Platform Aero is aircraft certified. We then walk over to our checkout area, material hardware and sign out. So this tells us exactly which piece of metal goes to which customer and was used on which job for which customer. That way you know exactly where all of your parts came from and that your parts are good to go no matter what. Here at the upcut saw, this is where we cut all of the tubes and angles for our racks. We've got a tiger stop which is, allows us to maintain less than a 10,000th tolerance. So we got 89.68 in right now. We can shave it down just a hair if we like. Go 89.6. If you watch here, it'll move just barely. And we can take that little tiny sliver off there. We got pneumatic hold downs for it. We put on a guard so that nobody gets any fingers in the way. We like to keep our hands here at Platform Arrow. Start up the saw. Requires two hands to operate. Guards have to be down, the hold down have to be down, otherwise the machine will not work. Then you push these buttons down and the saw comes up from the bottom of the table and cuts. just like that. And it's actually lubricated with vegetable oil. Environmentally safe. And next step is we cut out our corners on our five axis Haas CNC machine. Then after that, we cut out the tie downs on our water jet and then we bent them on our prime line CNC press brake. So here we are at our Haas CNC machine. Essentially what we do is we take a hunk of metal like this and we turn it into one of our corners for our racks like this. And we do all of our machining in-house, all of our QA, and all of our precision measurements right here on site. So it's uh, considerably better to make your parts out of one piece if you can. Um, you eliminate welds, eliminate cracks in welds, um, don't have the rivet pieces together, and it's also considerably stronger. All right, and here we are at the water jet. <clears throat> And this is the piece of metal that we actually cut our D-rings slash tie downs out of. It is quarter inch stainless steel. And as you can see, they were flat initially. And then we took those over to our prime line and we put that 45 degree bin that you see in there. That way they can tie them down with either uh, tie down straps or aircraft tie down chains. And next stop in our process is the jig table. Uh, the jig table allows us to take all of our piece parts, including our corners, and actually put them together. And then it allows the human to maintain 20 thousandths tolerance. So you can see these holes get pushed down in here and we drill out these holes here. And that's allows every rack we make to be within 20 thousandths of each other. So here we are at our powder coating station. Um, powder coating is considerably better than paint because it allows the charge to adhere the powder to the metal. Um, it's considerably stronger, uh, more scratch resistant, way more durable and it'll have a, your product looking better much, much longer. We're gonna hook up our ground. Get our gun set up. Got our textured black. Put this in our shaker, which allows the powder to flow smoother, giving us a more consistent coat. We also got plenty of other colors. We've got safety yellow, uh, green, numerous colors 
And so we'll start powder coating. And as you can see, because of the charge on the metal, the powder gets pulled right to the, right to the aluminum. A lot less overspray, a lot less waste as well. All right, once you get your part coated, you disconnect your grounds, put it in your oven, which is preheated to 375. Put on your super cool oven mitts so you don't burn yourself. Push it in the hot oven. Close your doors. And bake it for 15 minutes, just like cookies. All right, and the last stop in our process is QA, quality assurance, where we check all of our measurements, do our thorough inspection to make sure that you guys are getting a good quality of product from Platform Arrow, such as shelves are where the customer wanted them, so on and so forth. The proper tie down method is here. Gets you a serial number, that way we know who's got the rack. You can refer to that and we can help you out with any parts you may or may not need or any replacement items. And then it's on its way out to you.